Well, hello, Aries. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is a love reading for the first half of April 2018. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back to those of you who come to me for weekly, monthly, yearly readings, who give wonderful donations, who follow up with comments and guidance and uh, responses to your personal readings by which you have allowed for spirit to guide you in your walk here on earth in a way that is much more peaceful and yet exciting and joyous and full of what was empty before. All right, so with the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild, I'm just gonna ask Spirit to please bless you guys with clearly defined messages and spiritual guidance that we will, re we will refer to at the end of the reading. Aries. Okay, so you guys are receiving, riding the cosmic wave. Six plus zero is six, right? So five is about being in conflict, almost more inner conflict than anything. And six is like coming up over the edge of that. And now you're riding the wave. So we'll get back to that. I'm gonna mark it in the book. We'll get back to that at the end of the reading. For now, we're going to ask a little bit about romance. All right, we're going to, we're gonna start with a particular energy that I'm pulling or group of people or to whomever energies I am pulling at this time. For this general reading, if you'd like me to pull your personal energies, you can email me at josiek42 at gmail.com and the prices are below. So I'm using the Tarot of the Hidden Realm deck in order to pull the personality of the first person and then the person that they're thinking of. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless us with clearly defined messages regarding Aries' life path here on Earth at this time on into and through to the mid-April period of 2018. Two, three weeks. Okay. Hmm. So some of you Aries are looking at a situation as though you or someone else may be offering you a cup of love. There may be a lot of playfulness and fun, but make sure you stop and contemplate what's truly on offer here. Because crossing you in that deep thought you guys look like you're in, You've got the two of pentacles, so you're trying to, some of you, not all of you, make a decision between two things, however this applies in your life. It could be two different job offers, two different friends, two different, you know, however it applies. Two different people, yes. So in your mental aspects position of the Celtic spread, you've got the seven of swords, Therefore, there are thoughts of mischievousness here. Ah, in someone's foundation, there is what spirit is identifying as some sort of secret. In the recent past, you guys were contemplating what it is you had to do to change up your path when you are unsure of this love offer and which path to take. In the next two to three weeks, because today is the end of March, well, March 28th, I feel as though you guys are starting to try and get more clear about what this really is here. And Spirit saying, you know, if there's a shadow side to a person or yourself where someone's just kind of lost themselves and there's borders that are getting walked over here, you know, boundaries that are being trespassed, it's time to kind of speak your truth. And all you can do is hope that this little tiny love offer or that maybe even this very new love offer is just very small. Sometimes we take these love offers and we blow them into more than what they need to be. 
which I think is good for some of you, not all of you, because you may have made yourself all worried and fearful and carry negative energies because you thought that something was a secret, when in reality you had control the whole entire time, but yet you want to communicate out because it's kind of fun for some reason. And therefore, you're just sitting there hoping. This is a bit of a lesson here. It's a lesson in identifying shadow side energies. So it's a lesson of releasing old cycles, things we are addicted to when it comes to maybe going away from a situation. Whomever is Aries energies I'm reading. So let's move into the person that Aries is thinking about. This person wants a happily ever after. Peace, joy, contentment, fulfillment. And they are hoping, wishing, and praying on a star that that wish will come true. And in their thoughts, they're fearing that something's coming to an end because with this showing up, it could be that something has come to an end and they're just wishing to step in your direction so that they can enjoy the beauty of you, is what I just heard. In the recent past, there was maybe a little bit of depression and sadness. And now in the next couple few weeks, this person's gonna be kind of confused because you guys have the emperor energies and you're getting a little harsh. <laughs> they have control over deciding if they want to just turn this into a more playful thing where some of you guys are looking at it like you need to make a decision because you're tired of carrying this dark side energy or stepping in the area of the dark side energy that leads you into this sneaky energy in your thoughts so the other person's fearing that that fun connection might come to an end and they want it to be more fun than anything spirit saying to them lay down the swords if you're done with the battle in their hopes and fears position the person you guys are thinking of has come a long way financially they're proud of how far they've come they have a lot of experience and knowledge and in their outcome position as you're waiting for a message somehow this person they put a lot of energy into a situation and they're contemplating whether or not, and this is tied to you, it's worth continuing or if they're going to move into a new direction. So they are contemplating an ending here because you guys see the situation as some sort of secret. Whomever's energies these are that I'm pulling. So in the first week and a half to two weeks from watching this video, I'm even thinking in the first week, there may be a lot of coming and going. And I think there's love being offered, but for you guys, you are unsure. I think you like this communication very much. And there is a strong, passionate pull. But what's really gonna make you happy in the end more the friendship type slow connection or the real passionate intense quick connection and no matter what human decision you make know that they are sending the temperance angel to help you to heal if you decide to sneak off in the direction by which may affect those around you some of you not all of you in the next couple weeks will realize how far you've come in this battle and even though it seemed like it was a battle with another person and there never met maybe was ever any arguing or anything you're being reborn somehow because of what you have learned and even though a new path is being offered to you some of you not all of you are taking time to hide down here like that little guy 
because there's a lot of fantasy or nostalgic energies and you're trying to be strong because maybe the other person you guys are thinking of has an energy around them of the air element Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, because this is general. In the outcome position, something is coming to an end. Someone starts to kind of protect themselves as a truth is being discussed. Yeah. For some reason, and this is a good thing to figure out at this time, this didn't or won't transpire because I think you guys are learning a lot about yourself right now. And some of you, not all of you, are this caring, loving, giving person, the Empress, a very spiritual person, a person who manifests many a great things for both herself and others, but one by which is closely connected with these energies as a major arcana, the Empress. Spirit's gonna help for her to manifest what she so chooses. Some of you, not all of you, may need to go through a process of communication with someone at a distance in order to let something go. And that's why this connection may be very karmic. Be careful what you set, what goals you set. <laughs> So in the next maybe three weeks, you know, this person's going to be looking and I think you're both going to be looking at how far the situation is coming. But at the same time, if it isn't fulfilling, there has to be a way to communicate differently or to make something come to an end. Wow, this is a very deep test, and it's a test of strength. I'm going to bring in the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. And this, I'm going to ask, is uh, what are the... What love and romance energies are available to those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Aries for the first half of April 2018? Thank you. So this is the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. And the card representing your current life path here on Earth at this time is telling you that your love life will benefit as you forgive either your parents, yourself, someone around you. By the second week, you're going to start to find some clarity when it comes to a decision. Spirit's saying, once you decide, they will help to make that situation happen. So be careful what your decision is because, well, we'll come back around and clarify. Now in your relationship sector, there's some sort of time apart here and there's some sort of healing. In your creative aspects position, some of you are trying to create a connection by which there's just not enough attraction. It doesn't balance out and spirit saying in your action position, have faith that through prayer, you can heal from what transpired, from someone that maybe you weren't living with day to day, that didn't give you what you really deserved, and Spirit saying pray to forgive and heal within yourself, within what's transpired in your family, in your life, because you're a stronger person now. Some of you, not all of you, are figuring out emotionally that a new financial path that you've been working on or a creative path that you should be working on because the energies are there will help you to replace too many thoughts of unrequited love with something uh, creative, your craft, however that applies. So subconsciously, it's a time of respecting yourself before anyone else. It's a time of healing and forgiving maybe yourself or someone else. And it could be that with someone at a distance or someone around you in this relationship sector. And I'm going to clarify in a little bit. In your practical day-to-day -day matters position in this circle spread, some of you, not all of you, are making this person more than what they really are. And when you meet them, you may recognize that they're not 
this cartoon character. <laughs> so in your inner strengths position, we have soulmate. You have the ability to stop and observe a soulmate connection, which is kind of what this is. It's a lesson. Have uh, faith and trust in spirit that as you hope, wish, and pray for the right person to come in and give it to them and let them take care of that, you can get focused on keeping an open mind, loving yourself first, and this creative hobby, project, skill, talent, or gift. So in the first week and a half to two weeks, we've got retreating, separating, taking some time to get quiet, and enjoying life day to day in the first week or so. Your love life may be affected by children as you're connecting with friends. It may seem like this energy for someone here is a new love, but be careful because someone's wearing a false mask. So something needs to be given more time. In the next two to three weeks, someone comes in or you travel out or something goes on and Spirit's saying, you are lovable, you deserve love. And Cupid's arrow is aiming right at you. For some of you, I feel like this is a time for a couple to get together and share your love with each other, travel together, visit different places, have fun together. So through some sort of circumstances or difficult path that you have walked together, you can help release and heal the past together. For some of you, you're retreating and healing in order to love yourself first and to take back those last few pieces you've looked for to finally let go of a situation. And you're gonna experience more love because you do that. In fact, for some of you, not all of you, a commitment is getting better and divine timing has got control of that. If someone comes into your path in the next couple weeks, know that they don't see the situation from the same perspective that you do but that it's okay to allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, by the third week, positivity and faith in spirit that they have control over love and romance, you can take back control of your thoughts. You can free yourself as you are remaining optimistic while at the same time allowing things to unfold as they should. Wow, someone could, would, could come in maybe by the end of April. And you guys are gonna have to be really clear about your boundaries at some point when this reconciliation happens because there will be a lot of attraction. And I guess that's good, I mean, trust in spirit. If this person is being drawn into your path or you manifested them into your path, Remember, this is about loving you first. What makes you happy and fulfilled? Wow, so I'm pulling a couple different energies here, but I want to get some clarity. I'm going to bring in the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. Again, I'm adding the Spiritual Advice and Guidance cards to the circle spread by which I have used the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Aries. Spiritual guidance. Ooh, okay. Okay. <sighs> so for some of you, not all of you, there's healing and forgiveness going on here, and there's also a forbidden doorway. So there's already things going on in your life over here that you're healing from. Whoever's energies these are, recognize that this doorway is blocked to protect you with the forbidden energies, okay? No matter how badly you want to go into that doorway, it's a time of healing in your own path right now with family members or friends somehow. Now in your mental aspects position of the circle spread clearly decide what you want I think by the end of the next two weeks some of you not all of you are going to come into some form of clarity where spirit you're gonna know <laughs> by listening to this reading I feel because this that this person's not gonna be the same as you thought that there isn't gonna be requited love and you're gonna be set free when you understand whoever this is 
and you wouldn't believe how many people these tie to. It's just, it's amazing. Thank you for following up with your stories and telling me how you applied these energies and this guidance to just bring fulfilling and happy and joyful endings that I got to be a part of. Okay, so in your relationship sector, we had time apart. Yeah, if some of you enter or try to enter or hang out by that forbidden doorway, there are going to eventually be energies of complication. Maybe with someone at a distance. Remember, in your creative aspects position, what you need to do and be creative about with yourself, whether it's say it out loud to yourself in a mirror, there's just not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this going. I'm going to heal my own family issues and I'm going to trust in spirit and have faith that they will help for me to remain honest with myself by not stepping into the doorway. Emotionally, I will focus on my finances and I will find contentment, joy, happiness, clarity, honesty that's in your emotional aspects position the high priestess of water is going to help you guys with your emotions when it comes to going through this understanding and taking an oath to yourself when it comes to unrequited love so in your subconscious we have self-respect loving yourself first by doing what by letting go and what are they saying with that lined up diagonally letting go of a forbidden doorway that will cause complication. All right, so I pulled a card earlier for you from the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild. And I'm going to close by reading, reading from the book in order to give credit to the author. This oracle brings a message. There is a time to work hard and a time to allow the fruits of one's labor to manifest when one may be carried by forces set in motion by the energy of life itself. You can let go and move further, reach farther with less effort. Now is the time to give yourself permission to stop paddling and to instead just ride the wave. Give in, let go, and be moved. So in your practical day-to-day -day matters position, Understand that sometimes we do make people seem like much more than they are. But at some point you're going to, if you guys, you know, walk these energies all the way out into the middle of April, you're going to receive a message that this doorway is forbidden. And in the next, in your inner strengths position, it's about being honest with yourself and trusting in spirit that you will find joy in your own path and that you're willing to wait for someone who comes to you who gives to you who loves you when you see a forbidden doorway you're going to know not to enter that because the person who is meant to be with you spirit will provide so pray for your soulmate if you're with your soulmate be honest with yourself and have faith in spirit that you can find something to get yourself involved in that will bring you peace, joy, and happiness within. Know that you are attractive as you are enjoying some project in your life day to day, and this will give you the ability to forgive and learn when it comes to others. Spirit's saying you are attractive, but there are you are in denial as well about this lesson of sorts. You deserve love. But you get to decide right now if you're going to sit outside that doorway or be honest with yourself. Wow, that was a big message. Sorry, it's how they come out. So in the outcome position, they're saying stay optimistic and positive because they are sending you the high priestess of fire and she's gonna guide you when it comes to passion. Maybe there needs to be more passion in a relationship if you're with someone. 
And for others, you know, if whether you're with someone or by yourself, free yourself from thinking too much about another human being, right? Because we cannot control what others do. All we can do is sit and observe and understand that we're never stuck in any way, shape, or form. We can take uh, you know, control of this path and decide if I'm not happy where I'm at, what steps am I going to take to find something that I can be passionate about so I can ignore this doorway altogether. Um, yeah. It's going to unfold as it's supposed to unfold. There is a commitment here and someone with optimistic thoughts, but they're connecting to someone who may have more masculine energies, who's very well dressed, but who can be dishonest. A quick change can take place when it comes to an offer to a bigger, more financially secure position and that offer may come in around maybe the first of April for some of you not all of you but they're offering a long and difficult path and I think when something happens quickly for some of you you're going to make the right choice when it comes to creating a new chapter in your life wow so it could be going back to a situation, it could be leaving a situation, it could be starting a new situation, it could be walking away from a situation. So however these apply to you, I can clarify for you if you would like to email me for a personal reading at josiek42 at gmail.com. Thank you again for stopping by. Take care and God bless.